Hi, there's a quick tutorial to make a voice activated PNG tuber with OBS and Leo on board. First thing that needs to be done is you have to install the Move Transition plugin for OBS. In OBS, add a new scene. Call it PNG tuber. In PNG tuber, add your image. Call that PNG. Browse. Open your PNG. Okay, move it to the center of your image of the scene and just a little bit off the bottom. So about there is probably pretty good. Also in the scene, add a new group object. Let's just call that GG and put that in your scene and there we go. Now let's add some filters to our PNG tuber scene. Right click on PNG tuber, click filters, add color correction. Let's find, leave it color correction, then drop this down here to about half, which is fine for now. Then we add another one. This one we will be move source. And let's call that move up. Move up. So make sure you suggest uh, got the right source, PNG. Come down to transform relative, click on that. And do change this Y plus minus 60. Now let's add another filter. This filter will be another move source. Let's call this source move down. And what it will do is move the, after the animation of the move up, it will move it back to the starting location. So select the correct source again, which is the PNG, and just hit get transform, which will get the current location. Okay, then also what we could do is we add another one. Now what we do is we do we move value and we're going to call this lighten. And what you do is you filter is you put that on the color correction filter we just made and we set the setting. We're going to go down to the opacity which we had set there and we're going to go to set this to opacity 1. And we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to undo that. And we're going to call this move value. Switch this one to darken. Okay. Filter, color correction, setting, opacity. And that's going to go back to 0.5. There we go. From here, let's move over to the main audio. I have my main audio under your scene, but wherever your source for your mic is, find it. You can right click on the source and go to filter or click on the gear icon and click filter, it's all the same. Click on uh, add filter, I already have one there, but we'll just do another one for demonstration. Magnitude, easing, I like 90, but you have to change this for your set setup. Source visibility under action, scene, PNG tuber, source, the dummy group we just made, Threshold action, action will be enable over, disable under, and again, this, your mileage may vary, but I like 0.25 for my setup is what works. Now let's click back on PNG Tuber and watch what happens to this down here, this little uh, GG group. When I'm talking, it lights up, and when I stop, it stops. Now let's move over to Leorn Board to create some buttons that will activate when GG becomes active or goes dark. Okay, let's call let's create a button. Let's call this button talking. Save inside talking. We add a filter. Change visibility. This one we go to our PNG tuber. That's a PNG tuber there. And then what we do is we go to, we're going to move it up. And then we're going to copy this and we paste. And we're going to also lighten. And we're going to make click the visible button, click the visible button. Clicky. Okay. Save. And then we're going to undo that for quiet. So we're going to actually just copy button. paste button, go in there, and what we're going to do is switch this from move up to move down, and from lighten to darken. 
and you leave the visible thing because that's what's activating the filters. And the only other thing to do is when we edit appearance, and we're going to go this quiet, not quite quiet. Save. Save that for now. Now, when I initially made this, I figured, you know, I'll have the uh, avatar go up and t light up when I'm talking, and then it'll go down when I stop talking. So I'll just, when it, when the GG group lights up, it'll be on. When it goes off, it goes off. Unfortunately, you take breaths when you're talking, and you don't want it to be flashing constantly. So instead, what I did was I made this on and loop. I think you can see this right here. So what I'm going to do is show you this on and loop right here. And basically, what you have to do is copy this for yourself. And so instead of my, my original was simple PNG tuber, you just go your PNG tuber, your source group GG, you make a variable, call it viz. And then you say pull variable viz. So what this will do is we'll tell Leoran board to monitor the visibility status of the GG, that group that you made, that dummy group to, that goes on and off when you're talking and when you're not. What you then do is you make an if statement. And I'll get into what this talking variable is in a sec. But what you then do is you make an if statement and you say if viz is on and you weren't talking, so talking is zero because I have a background variable there. Then what you do is you turn on the button ID. Now this button ID is the button ID of your talking button right here. So you just you can click on it. Button ID, this one happens to be 68. This one over here is talking, is button 60. So instead of uh, whatever your button is, you put your button there instead. And then you just do that. So this is trigger button thing. Then you also set the local variable talking, set that to one. Okay, then you have another if statement. If viz equals zero, that means it's not running before, but talking is one. So that means it's off. You want to turn it off. So what you do is you set talking to zero, and then you do the ID of whatever. You trigger your button, ID 61 of your quiet button, and you so that triggers the quiet. That turns the avatar off. Lastly, you add one more statement. If you're talking and you keep talking, you just want it to keep waiting to turn off to give it a little bit of a delay. So what I do is I trigger button, I run around to trigger button ID 63 again. So what that does is it just triggers itself. This is button 63. So you find out the ID of your button, which is right here at the top of your uh, scene right here. ID 63, so you self-trigger and you put a hidden delay in of say uh, uh, 300 milliseconds and you put a delay of 300 milliseconds. And what that does is this func this button will just keep triggering itself until the visibility goes away. So that will give just a small delay when you stop talking to uh, before the uh, avatar turns a little darker and moves down. Now there is one thing to show you about this talking variable because you want it to have a, st a state. Since you're doing something on a loop, you want it to have a state. And what you do is you you add an init variable. An init variable is a variable that is just like saved to begin with. So what you do is just in parent, uh, in quotation marks, talking, colon, zero, and that's it. And that's all the JSON there. Add a trigger to the uh, on and loop button. OBS trigger, scene item visibility changed. This will monitor all the changes in scene item visibility, so it will watch for the GG group change to occur. And that's really all there is to it. Now that GG lights up and Leoran board is monitoring that and fires off those filters when it lights up, you, the sky's the limit. You can do a bit more complicated things with the motion or the background lighting, the opacity, or whatever other things you want. But I'm just happy to say, when you stop talking, the it turns off. Bye.